Hello, welcome to Die Hard United. My name is Jude. I'm going to be talking about the latest news concerning Manchester United today. Don't forget to like and leave a comment in the comment section after this video. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you for coming on again. If you're not subscribed to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the subscribe button on the right hand corner and uh, keep up to date with everything Manchester United here on my channel. My name is Jude. Let's get to it. Manchester United preseason training started today with several players arriving Carrington today. The boss himself, Eric Ten Hag, was pictured being driven into the complex, as was his assistants, Steve McLaren and Mitchell van der Gag. Eric Ten Hag would look to set the ball rolling, getting to know his players and assessing the squad to get his philosophies into the squad immediately. Several players were pictured arriving today into the complex. Players like Anthony Machar, back from his loan spell at Sevilla, who didn't go too well. Donny van der Beek also back from loan from um, Everton, which also didn't go too well. But then Donny van der Beek is um, coming back to reunite with his old coach. They were both together at Ajax. And they know what they they know themselves very well. Everything else knows the kind of player he is. Tony van der Beek knows the kind of coach he is. He's probably the, he's the only player in, the, in Man Manchester United that knows what to expect, and also what um, everything also expects from him. Alejandro Ganacho also was pictured arriving today. Ganacho played in the Tolon tournament for the Argentina under 20s this month and their last game was on June the 10th. Ganacho was entitled to go on a three weeks off but he returned early. It's very impressive from Ganacho and it shows um, hunger and desire to get the ball rolling. Last season was a bad season for us. He wants to be part of this squad for this new season and he's hungry to get the ball rolling. Hopefully he has a breakthrough season. He has an amazing preseason and has a wonderful season next season. Hopefully he gets the chance to prove the kind of player he is and we'll see if he can be one of the shining lights among other players next season. Other players pictures, picture them arriving also we have Brandon Williams, also back from his loan spell at Norwich. We didn't go well. Norwich got relegated. Other players to arrived, um, David De Gea, Lynn Delof, Bissaka, Tom Heaton, Phil Jones. I don't know what Phil Jones is still doing at Manchester United, but he was pictured back. Jaden Sancho looked good. <laughs> he also back. And Luke Shaw also we are, was um, pictured um, arriving in his car today. Other players who also arrived were um, Avaro Fernandez, Ethan Laird. Um, Chola, Shoratiri, um, Bissaka also came back, and yeah, those are the players that was were pictured today who arrived for the first preseason session. Medical tests are scheduled on Friday with most of the with most of the rest of the squad to resume next week Monday. The players that went on that played. For inter these players are the players are resumed today at the non international players, the international players like Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandez, and the likes, the Godalo, and the rest. Those those players that didn't resume today would be back on Monday. I, th I don't I don't know if Maguire would. I think Maguire got an extended break. I don't I'm not sure, but the international players are expected to resume on the fourth. Of July, which is a domestic Monday, and hopefully we have um, progress on our transfer target. Faki De Jong could be done this this week, and hopefully mid next week you could join up with the squad after the when of the signing the contract and when and, and um, jerseys and interviews and the rest. You probably join up with the squad um, mid next week if everything goes well. And also, if we get Faki De Jong deal done, we can focus on other transfer targets, like um, Anthony. Um, Anthony have have um, requested his agents have requested talks um, with Ajax, so they are asking Ajax to hold talks with other clubs, even though they are they are going to request um, 
a huge transfer fee. But even even at that, they want Ajax to start negotiating with Manchester United. Um, so we'll know, um, because he's pushing to leave. So we we'll know them. They will know their, uh, what what they want and how to go about getting that deal done, no matter the fee. And uh, and also getting the the Frankie De Jong deal done, we can also assess other parts of the squad. And I'm sure this preseason is a time for Eric Ten Hag to do his high high test and get to know these players. And if there's enough time to get new players in in other emergency situations, he can um, do that. But although I don't like the idea of players who want to sell going on preseason tour, they could contact COVID or something, and that could last for a long while and probably help them stop them from being sold or something. So if we're not if, uh, if we know players that we definitely want to sell, players like Bayi, Twanzebi and the rest, then they shouldn't be going on preseason tour with the rest of the team. There's no need. Since you want to sell them, why, why take them on preseason tour? So, let's see how it goes. Give your thoughts. Uh, tell me what you think about the players that came today. The players are looking good. They're looking fresh. So, let's see how that goes. And, yeah, preseason begins and all eyes on the team and Eric Ten Hag and let's know what his plan is for this team and that was all for now don't forget to like this video leave a comment in the comment section share this video to a fellow United diehard fans and most importantly please we are trying to build a community please if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe this is for the Manchester United diehard fans don't forget to leave a comment give your thoughts on everything I've said and engage